for Christmas uh, and before I start I just want to say this video is in no way um, me bragging about what I've got. Um, I just really enjoy watching these videos myself and I love seeing what other people got for Christmas um, because it also gives me ideas for things that I want to get for myself. Um, so you know I kind of just wanted to share this with you guys. Now, um, I am pretty spoiled at Christmas time by my fiance. Uh, he does get me a lot of stuff for Christmas. Um, but otherwise, throughout the rest of the year, everything I buy is normally bought, you know, by myself. Um, so, I do have a fair few things. And obviously, because I am a toy collector, a majority of my stuff I got from Christmas was actually toys. But I'll start with the non-toy stuff first, and then we'll lead into the toys. So, I did get a few things um, non-toy related. I got some, I got two uh, Lush products. I got the Snow Cake Soap, um, which is my favourite, favourite soap at Christmas time from there. If I can get it out. Oops, I um, but this is my favourite so it smells just unbelievable um, and it's just this soap here, it's got like a, you know, and oh my god it smells so good the snow cake soap, it reminds me of marzipan and almonds and it's just like the best combination ever. Then I got the um, Christmas Hedgehog Bubble Bar which He's kind of melting a little bit because it's really hot here in Brisbane. But this is what he looks like. And he's got glitter and I think I might actually use him tonight. It is so cute and smells so good. Oh my god. And these little these lush products were in my stocking. This is all from my um, all from my fiance. Uh, then I also got in my stocking three nail polishes and I'm obsessed with glitter nail polishes. Well, I'm obsessed with nail polish in general, but I'm obsessed with glitter nail polishes. So I got um, the, what is this? This is the In True Stefani Fashion from the Gwen Stefani um, line. It's the older collection, not her new one that's just out. But look how pretty that is. Like, I can't even tell you how amazing this is. It's so sparkly. These are just so beautiful. So I got that one. Then I got this one here, which is Gaining Momentum, which is this gorgeous one from the, I think it's a Muppets Most Wanted collection. I could be wrong. It's definitely a Muppets collection. I just can't remember which one it is but it's just it's not even doing it justice on camera but it's got gold silver and rose gold glitter shards all through this and it is amazing and then the last one now polish I got is also from the same Muppets collection and this one is in let's do anything we want and it is so beautiful look at that it has pink glitters and white glitters and then these really big huge white square glitters which just are so pretty and I can't wait to use these polishes. So I got those. Um, then I got, I'm just trying to see, I got three lip balms in my stocking and I have opened them so they're not in the packaging anymore. But I got the Maybelline Baby Lips in Mango Pie which I did not have this one and it's just a plain, plain one but oh my god it smells so good. So I got that one. I also got the Lip Smacker in Cotton Candy which is just that one there and this does look slightly pink in the tube but it does not come out pink on the lips but it does smell like cotton candy like it smells really good actually so 
that's that one because I have an obsession with lip balms. And then I got the Crayola lip balm in Granny Smith Apple, which is this cute little one here. And it is a green one. And I'm just going to say, this is green tinted when you put it on the lips, very, very faintly green tinted. But this to me does not smell like a Granny Smith apple or apple of any kind. I don't know what it smells like, but it's not an apple. But I still think it's super cute, so I really like that. Then I got this in my stocking. This is the Sarah Jessica Parker New York City um, perfume. And I it's really funny because I know so many people that say... Um, think that the bottle here is tacky, but I actually rather like it and it's just like this and I don't even know really how to explain the scent of it, but it's like I don't know, maybe a little bit floral and summer -y. I don't know, but I really like it and you can't really see but up the top just there I have a huge perfume collection up there which will be being moved today into a new location um, so I got that one then in my stocking I also got um, the Killer Queen Katy Perry perfume and I am obsessed with Katy Perry's perfumes I have um, Meow and Purr up there which my fiance has got me on previous Christmases, but I got this one and oh my god, look how beautiful that bottle is. It is just so stinking gorgeous and it is, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And I don't even know how to describe these. I'm really bad at describing scents, but Oh my god, it smells so amazing. It's kind of a little bit hard for me to smell everything properly though because I can smell Lush products on my hands. <laughs> but look how beautiful this bottle is, guys. This is so gorgeous. I love it. I get perfume every year for Christmas because my fiance knows how much I love perfume. So that's that. And then... That's it for those types of items. I also got this really cool Coca-Cola tumbler, which I'm actually using now. It's got Coke in there. Um, but it's really cool. It's a double walled tumbler. It is quite large. Um, I'm not sure though what size it is. Um, doesn't say. No, it doesn't say. But it is a spill proof, it does have a lid that this you can push this across, I can't at the moment because my straw is in there, but when your straw is not in there you can actually seal that and become spill proof. This is really really awesome. I love this and I've been using this like crazy since I got it for Christmas, um, which was two days ago now, so I love this, it's amazing. Um, then I got, let's see here, I'm just trying to think what else I've got here. I got two tops. I got a Barbie top, single top, which is this one here. And it just has, it's just plain white and it has the Barbie faces on it. And then it says Barbie right there. I love this. It is super, super, super cute. But yeah, I really like this top. So I got that one. Then I also got another top, and this one is a Marvel Comics t-shirt, which I also love. Like, look how cool that is. I really like this t-shirt, It's and it's super comfy as well. Like, I've already worn these, so I got that. Then I got... I'm going to pick out the non toilet related stuff first. My mum got me this beautiful, beautiful gift. And every year I always, you know, tell my mum not to go too crazy with gifts because I'm the oldest out of all my brothers and sisters. I'm almost 26 years old and my youngest 
um, brother with my mum and my stepdad is eight. So for me, I'd rather my mum, um, you know, shower my baby brothers with gifts than myself um, because I'm an adult and they're still children. But my mum this year, I'm, like every year my mum gets me presents, but my mum this year got me something so special and I had no idea, like normally I have some idea of what my mum's getting me, but this year it's just a complete surprise. But she got me this beautiful, beautiful gift from a place called Park Lane Jewelry. And this is a little baggie it comes with. And I'll just take it out of its little bag. But my mum got me this gorgeous watch. I, I can't even tell you how speechless I was. Like, look how pretty that is. It is all diamonded out. It has a gold watch face um, with pink watch straps, like leather watch straps. And it is just so beautiful and I just really love this watch and I I just yeah I was so surprised when I opened it up um, it's just such a beautiful watch it is so gorgeous but I've never heard of this company before but yeah Parkland jewelry and it's been around since 1955 so you know yeah I'm just sorry about that guys my camera ran out of space so let's get back into into this so that is pretty much all of the toys I mean all of the non toy related stuff yeah okay yeah so moving on um, you guys have seen this present already because I did get it early um, but I got a wonder landerful world by Shannon Hale which is the third book in the ever after high um, book series and it is such a beautiful book. I have shown it in a book haul that um, I recently did. Um, so I did get this book early. But it is such a beautiful book. And I do have the other two books up here. So yeah, I really, really, really enjoy reading these books. Then I also got um, this. It's a PlayStation 3 game. It's How to Train Your Dragon 2 because I am obsessed with How to Train Your Dragon. I seriously am, like, oh my god, I love How to Train Your Dragon so much. And this is a really fun game too. I mean, I suck at flying in this game, but it's really fun. So I got that um, as well. And then to go with the whole How to Train Your Dragon theme, my partner got me two of the dragons. So I have Toothless. Um, and these do move the the push the back legs whoop, the back legs down and the wings do move with this one and the little legs move there but he is so cute not sure where I'm gonna put these yet in my room um, I have to reorganize which is why my perfumes up there will be being relocated because <laughs> I need the space for my toys um, and then I got Cloud Jumper. And this is what Cloud Jumper looks like. And Cloud Jumper does the same with the wings. And he has four wings. And he does have a little flame here. When you push on his head, he shoots the flame out. But I got those as well. These were in my stockings. And like I said, I love How to Train Your Dragon. I just think they're adorable. So I got those. They were from my fiance. Um, then I also got these super cute little guys and I think I'm just a little bit in love with these. Um, I got four of them, I believe, I'm not sure if I'm right, but I believe this is the whole collection for Christmas, but they are called Itty Bitties and this is what they look like. They're so cute. So to start off with, I have Santa. Look how cute he is, and they are like stuffed toys. They don't have legs, they have a flat base with beads on it so that they stand. Um, but they're super soft, and oh my god, these are adorable! But this is what Santa looks like, and I forgot to mention that itty bitties are from Hallmark as well. So, but I got Santa, I got Bumble, which is the abominable snowman, he's so cute. 
I bought Rudolph. And I'm calling this Rudolph's girlfriend. This is Clarice. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And look how cute she is. These are so cute. I love itty bitties. Um, I'd actually been eyeing these off in Target because I'd seen them in Target and they are $7.99 each. So, um, you know, and I was going to get myself a whole heap of these before Christmas because I saw them there. But my fiance, um, once December hits, puts in a no, <laughs> no buy roll. So I am banned from buying stuff for myself during December, um, during the month of December because, um, I quite often buy myself things and then he had either got it or was thinking of get it. So in the month of December I'm not allowed to buy anything. So I was going to get these for myself and then I didn't because I decided, you know, I need to stick to my no buy rule for December um, leading up to Christmas. So I got those which was super cute. Um, then moving on, now all of the stuff that I got is out of their boxes because obviously I opened them on Christmas, um, but I got two Zelfs, I got Dorothy Doe, and I'll put her hair up in a little ponytail, I got Dorothy Doe, look how cute she is, oh my god, she's so adorable, and then look at her little tail, and her tail does move as well, I thought that was so cute, but I got Dorothy Doe. And my fiance did such a good job. He picked these out for me, and I don't have these ones, so um, I'm super happy. And then he picked me out Lady B. Look how cute Lady B is, and her hair is a little pretty intense as well. But on the back of her, look at her wings. They're so stinking cute. Look at that. And um, they come with their little cones, one each. And they each came with a little charm. So Dorothy Doe came with a little deer charm. And Lady B came with a little ladybug charm, which I thought was really cute. And also, if you want a more in-depth review on the toys that I received for Christmas, I can definitely do that for you, but I'm just not going to do it in this video. And then moving on, um... I got these super cute little things and oh my god I'm so obsessed with these because they're just really fun. But they're robo fish. So I got this one here. This is what he looks like. It is a clownfish. And these robo fish, if you haven't heard, you put them in water and they swim. So right here you'll be able to see a black dot there. There's one on each side. They're sensors. So if I do this, this little tail. And they swim and I will insert footage of them swimming around. I filled up my bathtub and put these in there. And they look like real fish and these are so hilarious and fun to watch. They're adorable. They do come with little stands, so when you're not using them, you put them on their stand like so. So I got Nemo, and then I got this really cute purple, white, and pink one as well. Um, my partner got me these as like little just gag type gifts, but they actually are really fun. So I got those. Um, then I got this doll and I don't or didn't until now own any of the My Little Pony Equestria dolls. Um, I've just never gotten around to buying any because I've got so much stuff on my to, you know, wish list that I want to get myself. And to, I'll be honest with you, 
at first, like I've watched a lot of videos on these dolls and I didn't really like the look of them but then when I saw them in person I fell in love with them and thought they were amazing. But again, I didn't get any because, you know, I wanted to stick to my no buy rule. But my partner got me one and he got me Rainbow Dash and she is so cute. So this is what she looks like. She's got a little headpiece and everything on. She's got her trademark rainbow hair, which is not as great a quality as say like a Monster High doll or anything, but it's still super cool. And she does have two different coloured legs. The only difference between this doll and an Ever After High doll or a Monster High doll is she's not fully articulated, so her arms and legs don't bend. Um, and then she's got cute bushes on, but she's so cute! And she is a lot shorter than a normal doll. So, yeah, um, this one doesn't come with a stand, but she will stand on her own if you put her in the right position. So I'm gonna do that. But I just love this doll, and this is my first Equestria Girls doll, so she's adorable. So I got that one. Then I got... where are we? I got two Ever After High dolls and my fiance got me Cerise Hood. She is the daughter of the little little red riding hood and the big bad wolf and look how cute she is. So her hat oh wow hat. Her hood does come off and she's got this beautiful cape on. Like look how pretty this is. Oh my god. But look how gorgeous she is guys like look at her and she's on her stand but I got that one and oh, I'm so in love with her and I also got apple white yeah I'm in love with this one as well look at her and her hair is oh my god so soft and she's got these beautiful little um, ringlets going on there. But look at her, she's so pretty. And she's got her gorgeous dress on and her little apple handbag which does open and then her hair. Look at her hair, it's so pretty. But oh my god, I, I can't even tell you how excited I was when I saw, like when I opened these and I saw them in the boxes. They're so gorgeous. And my fiance did pick these out for me. Um, he's done so good this year with buying me stuff. So I got her, and then the last thing I have here, yeah the last thing is, he also got me, my fiance did, a big La La Loopsie doll. I love La La Loopsie, and he got me this one here. Um, so this is a rosebud long stem, she is so adorable. So this is what she looks like up close, she is one of the big headed ones, and their heads are quite heavy. Um, but this is what she looks like, she's got a lot of roses in her hair. She's got a pretty dress on and then I've got her little boots and she is so cute. And she did come with this little um, butterfly, which is her pet butterfly. And I do have a mini version of this one. Like I mean like it's like this big. I have done a review on that somewhere in the past. But she is so adorable and I was so excited seeing this. Um, I was just like, yeah, I was speechless because she's so cute and I love her. So I got that one and she will be going on my shelf somewhere over here because I'll just spin you guys around a bit. But I've got that big one there and then I have this one here which I will be uploading a review for. So that's that. And then the last, no actually there's one more thing. The last thing I got is actually this thing right here. You can't really see that well, but it is Aqua Dragons. Um, they're like, um, what do you call it? They're very similar to like sea monkeys, where you got like the little tank and you put the things in and they grow and all that sort of jazz. Um, I will show you, I'll add for a close up of that. You can't see anything in the tank at the moment are too microscopic but once they get bigger I'll show you guys but I also got that for my fiance as well and like I said I was really spoiled this Christmas um, from my partner um, and I am absolutely truly grateful for everything I did receive so um, 
Yes. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm just going to tack this video on to the end of my what I got for Christmas video because I didn't have this when I filmed that. But I went into work today. Today is Sunday, so it's after Christmas. And I hadn't seen my boss since before Christmas. And when I came into work this afternoon, she had got me a Christmas present. And I thought that was so sweet. And she had gotten me the Rimmel London little set and it comes with this super cute um, makeup bag and it's like quilted on the sides it's pale pink and it just says Rimmel get the London look on both sides and then inside it came with four items it came with the Scandalize a Rocking Curves mascara in extreme black which is this mascara here and I needed a new mascara because I need to clean out all the rest of mine. But look at the wand on this. It is like way different to what I'm used to. But I'm loving that. So I'm definitely going to be using that. Because I need new mascara. Um, it also came with the um, Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is in the colour Taupe. And it just looks like this, and then that's the covering there, so... And oh my god, it is so, so creamy, but look at that. I really like the colour, it's a really nice colour, and it's waterproof, so that should work well. Then I also got this Rimmel London lipstick in the colour Alarm and it's just like this and it looks like a deep red I don't know if I'll be able to pull this red off but I'll try it like you know let's see oh that's a very bright red <laughs> I don't know how well I'll go with that one. I'll definitely try though because I've always loved red lipstick. I just don't look good in it. But I'll try it. And then the last thing it came with was the Rimmel Precious Stones High Coverage Glitter Polish in Diamond Dust. And it says full on glitter colour. And this is the um, bottle here. And check out that glitteriness. I will insert a picture as well so that you can see this, but this is amazing. And that is all the stuff that it came with, so, whoa, dropping stuff everywhere here. So that is like a really awesome set. I was so surprised when she gave this to me and I really love it. And it was such a sweet thing and I really like this little um, cosmetic bag too. So that is it guys, this is what I got for Christmas, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have done what I got for Christmas for you, leave a comment down below because I love watching people's videos. Anyway guys, I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and please do have a safe and happy new year and I'll see you guys later, bye!